welcome back to the channel, Morvania here. Um, it's been a while, and that is because I have spent hours and hours and hours on this design um, in the creative mode to try and get it as good as I possibly can. And I think at this stage it is as good as I am possibly going to get it, because organics I'm discovering is not my forte. But I stuck with it, and I faffed and tweaked and changed and I think I've got something that is respectable for the wall. Um, the other thing that's taken me a long time is there wasn't enough mossy cobblestone bricks on the server and as you can see that was a box full of moss so there you go I went around and collected all the moss instead and well Doc had a lot of stone so that's that and I made the mossy cobblestone bricks so we have cobblestone, mossy cobblestone bricks, quartz, bone, more bone, um, some moss, frog lights, moss carpet, cracked stone bricks, Slabs and stairs, scaffolding, quartz and uh, st quartz stairs and slabs, just to let you know, it's ga scaffolding and more bone blocks. And we are going to take this to the wall and we are going to complete the wall today. However, before we do that, there are a couple of things that I have done and never did fix the alleys. I never did fix the alleys. I have come to the conclusion that the alleys knew for some some reason they can look into the future and they knew what doc was going to do to them in season 10 so they decided they were just not working for him or anybody for that matter because if they don't work then nobody will set them on fire and use them as um trash cans or and nobody will drown them for whatever reason he's drowning them so yeah that's that's my conclusion on the alleys it's just they could see what was going to happen, so they just stopped working. So, let's go... Ooh, ooh, that was not what I wanted to do. I've done the roof. I have done the roof. I did not do any bits that have beehives in. That was all Doc's work. Um, the reason being, I, in real life, I am terrified of bees. So... In Minecraft, although they do look cute and fluffy, I don't like touching their bees' nests because I'm terrified I get it wrong and then they start attacking me. So any that don't have beehives, that's they're all they're all my work. And I glassed up some of them. Anything that had a villager iron farm under it, I covered in grass. And any that were looking into the main part I covered in glass the whole roof has been done um, and I did find a few bees up here you might have just seen one going past there you go oh, what am I doing I am NOT doing well with the flyovers today take two right so as you can see, all the way around, it's either glass or it's, ah, it's mossed over. Right, we'll call that a day on that one. Except for the bit that I flew out, because if I put glass over that, it would have ruined the look of the volcano. I still have to clear out some mushrooms oh I have one more job to do I forgot about all these shulker boxes oh oh dear right okay I suppose we better take these and put them away Bye. 
that's the mushrooms cleared up. I quite like those two in the water though, so I left them because, well, fungus near water and damp, it kind of worked, so I left them. But, as you can see, I'm at the wall. I have no idea how long this episode's going to be because once I've actually done the statue, then we have to go along all of these houses and put the roses and the... Oh, sorry, my apologies. The tomatoes, all the different types of tomatoes on the roof. So, before... I um, start this time lapse. I will be honest and say that I've created this in creative mode first and I'm using Light Matica to help me build it because I've never built anything on this scale before and well to be honest I'm not a Light Matica expert either because I've only used it once before so without further ado let's get started. Well, it's done. I hope you enjoyed the bloopers there. Um, things went a bit wrong. My flying wasn't working. But let's take a look and see what all of these hours have produced. I really do hope that it does talk justice. Um, I wanted to respect what he, what he represents in Minecraft. Well, that's it for this episode and this series. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have certainly enjoyed it. I've loved um, looking at your comments. Uh, I thank you for all your likes and your subscribes. I will be downloading previous seasons of Hermitcraft and looking at decorating some of those bases if you're interested. Currently, I'm focusing on my um, second series, uh, Surviving After the Fall. It's more of a storytelling series. Um, I hope you've enjoyed all this and I thank you for going with me on this little journey. I've challenged myself to the maximum on some of these things. I've learned a lot about building. I've learned a lot about myself. And yeah, it's been an overall really interesting experience. So I am going to leave you now with some nice views of the base and I'll say cheerio.
Until the next episode.